Hey guys, what is going on? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a bunch of budget videos that we're going to be rolling out throughout this year. Obviously, I've been very inconsistent in the past, but I really want to just throw throw out there and just go out there and just make some videos. Madden 23 is actually super fun this year, and it, it seems pretty fun, at least at, at the first, first glance. Obviously, if you're not going against the Blitz and everything, but if you know how to beat the Blitz, it's a pretty fun game so far. Uh, right now, we're just going to go through the best QBs uh, for 10K, 15K, 25k, 50k, 75k, and 100k, and then obviously 125k, all ranging for different tiers because everyone's on a different budget. If you spend money on the game, great. If you don't spend money on the game, that's also great. So let's hop right into it. I am going to give you a gold card um, just because if you need someone to grind out solos or if you're just starting, this is a really cool opportunity for you just to use some QBs and figure out how the game plays. And once again, these are all my opinion in no way correct. But for the first card, let's hop right into it. Budget card is going to be 79 overall Trey Lance. Now, obviously, he's uh, 6K for some reason, but you can pretty much pull him in the training reroll. 80 speed, 82 throw power, 76 short accuracy, 73 beam accuracy, 76 deep accuracy, and 72 throw under pressure. Now, when I made all these rankings, and once again, these are all my opinion, I really focused on throw under pressure just purely based on how the game is playing and how people are playing online. I feel like that plays a huge factor. And also, you're not going to notice there's probably one card on here that's only mobile. The other ones are all pocket pass. And that's just purely because you need a pocket pocket presence this year just based upon the passive mechanics and how they influence them but with that being said he's gonna be really good for you just in solos or just getting started out if you need a card really fast just to get you through until you get a better card he's gonna play really good for you so would def recommend Trey Lance for you now we're ahead to the next card the first budget elite card is gonna be 80 overall Mac Jones 69 tooth 81 throw power 80 short accuracy 78 medium accuracy 76 deep accuracy and 78 throw under pressure with 77 play action now obviously he is an 80 80 overall probably should be a Gold, but just because they boosted all the cards up he's gonna be a higher up and with that being said the 78 throw under pressure is actually pretty good for being an 80 overall it's one of the highest in the game for being an 80 overall so I definitely recommend him and he's more of a pocket guy too with that 69 speed he can break the pocket if you need him to but definitely wouldn't recommend it he does have the 80 above 80 stats for throw power and short accuracy so those two are really good combination as well but would definitely recommend Mac Jones for you now we're head to the next card for 25,000 coins the next card for under 25,000 coins is gonna be 80 overall Kyler Murray now, I'm running a Cardinal Steam team right now. That's a whole other story, but 83 speed with 8 throw power, 81 short accuracy, 79 medium accuracy, 82 deep accuracy, 82 throw under pressure, and 82 under run. Now, Kyler Murray is probably the most underrated card in this game, just purely based upon his throwing stats. They aren't the greatest, but he plays very good. And that 83 speed actually comes very much in handy, especially when someone's running a cover four out of the dime, I mean, out of the nickel 3 3 or anything like that, where they only have three linemen pushing you. He can get out in space and he can make some moves and he does have uh, X Factor as escape artist so if you can get the S X Factor activated then you're really good to go but he played really good for me. I've won a bunch of games with him and I just think he's one of the best cards in the game right now for 20,000 coins. That's a really good steal um, and he's just going to play really good for you. So would definitely recommend Kyler Murray for you and now we're head to 50k. For under 50,000 coins is going to be 85 overall Joe Cool, 71 speed with 85 throw power, 84 short accuracy, 84 medium accuracy, 83 deep accuracy, and 82 throw under pressure with 81 on throw and run. Now obviously his stats are pretty much, for deep accuracy and throw under pressure, pretty much the exact same as Kyler Murray, but he does have better throw power, which I do think plays a huge factor. I think he has a better release too. Obviously no one's going to have this release for except for Rodgers and the Slinger 1. That's the best release in the game, but he's going for about 300,000 coins, if not 400,000 coins. And so you really got to find this some some hidden gems in there and Joe Burr is going to be that guy for you 85 throw power is really good with short accuracy at 84 and medium accuracy at 84 he's gonna be able to stand in the pocket and definitely throw some dots for you especially if you know how to use that left trigger and the free form passing but would definitely recommend Joe Burr, Burr for you and now we're gonna head to 75k for under 75,000 coins is going to be 86 overall Carson Wentz. Now, I put him on here because if you have the coins and you don't want to grind out, I definitely recommend him. But if you do grind those solos or the, the headliner solos, you can get an 86 overall free choice. So you can get yourself a starting quarterback that's high caliber enough to get you through a little bit while more quarterbacks come out. But with that being said, he's got 79 speed with 86 throw power, 88 short accuracy. 82 medium accuracy, 85 deep accuracy, and 82 throw under pressure with 87 throw on the run. The main thing is, is that short accuracy is at 88 and that deep accuracy is at 85 with 86 throw power. Now, 86 throw power is really huge, especially early in the game. And for being a really good budget card that you can basically get for free, that's also absolutely amazing. He does have X Factor. I think it is Bazooka, as he just sold right there. But 
X Factor as Baz I think that's Bazooka or Gunslinger. One of the two where he can throw farther, and then I think that's a Dread Zone Deep Threat if I'm not mistaken, but I probably am mistaken for the attribute. He's going to play really good for you. I've seen played it against him, and he makes dots left and right. Obviously, if you put him under pressure, he's not going to be as good because that's what all the quarterbacks play, and that's how all they all will play for you. But he should play really good. Definitely recommend Carson Wentz for you. And now we're going to head to the final card on this list for under 125,000 coins. For under 125,000 coins, I'm going to go with 86 overall Justin Herbert. This card is just an absolute stud. If you cannot afford yourself uh, Aaron Rodgers or Buff or uh, Josh Allen for the Bills at 300,000 coins or even Joe Montana at 500,000 coins, this card is a really good choice for you. 78 speed with 87 throw power, 85 short accuracy, 82 medium accuracy, 85 deep accuracy, and 81 throw under pressure with 84 throw on the run. It's really between him and Brady at this point. Uh, especially for them being the 86s, and I think Herbert's just a oh, better card in my opinion. This isn't anything against Tom Brady, but playing against Herbert, he throws way more dots than, than I've, I've seen, and I've never seen anybody play. I haven't played against anybody that has played with Tom Brady. So 86 overall Herbert, he's just an absolute stud. 87 throw power, super hard to pass up, but would definitely recommend him. And once again, these are all my choices for the best budget quarterbacks just starting out. We'll update this next month or two months afterwards just to get through and see if we can get anything new cards and new cards came out that are probably better or not. So would definitely recommend him. Once again, these are all my opinion. No way correct. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed.